Let's all see Green Day, you guys. Don't want to be an American no, idiot. Let's make what it really sad. It? You do the bass. So you go. No, no, I'll do the bass. So you, you go. You do that. Okay. I'll, I'll see it really sad. Today was a terrible day at school. I got bullied for my man titties again. I went home. Papa made me eat my peas. I'm gonna wear mascara. I'm gonna cut my dang wrist. No one gets me. And sometimes I feel like I walk this slow in the face. Hello. Welcome to Sleepy Cast. Hi. Zach. Episode. Chris. Corey. 18, 19. Thank you. Yeah. Come again. Uh, for the last podcast we uploaded, we talked about um, religion and stuff, and mm -hmm. we, we made black jokes. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, just, I just wanted to say, like, I, during the podcast, I apologized for making the black jokes, and people got mad at me for apologizing. Oh, really? But I just wanted to say that you, can, you have to, or people will use it against you. Well, you mm. know, look, it's just, this is a comedy podcast, man. No, I know that. It's like, it's not, I know, I'm saying it's, also, saying it's anybody, it's bad, like. No, I know, no, but what I'm saying is that there, there's people who take it out of context and oh, sometimes it's probably just a better idea to do that yeah. I know you shouldn't have to censor yourself I'm but myself the, the thing is though if somebody wants to get mad at you even if you apologize they can still take it out yeah. like every full disclosure if you're listening everything we've said over the last two seasons has been in completely jest. unbridled in jest. Just like, like if we say something terrible about child molestation or racism it's yeah. it's not we don't really think that it's see, just, see, see what you're saying right now is what I did it I, makes, I, I it wasn't makes apologizing you, I was just saying that that's what we're doing but people yeah. still got mad at me for doing that it's weird too because like this may sound like kind of like a out of like left field but I was actually watching some really old Rooster Teeth stuff yeah really old like I was watching some um, Jeff and Jack new stuff mm -hmm. and Jeff he would like pull up not Jeff Jeff but G, I always say G off because I'm retarded I can't read I Jeff say G off too yeah I can't read it how it's pop but he was reading off stuff like, I think he said something about fucking like Hiroshima, but it was so perfectly. It sounded like something we would fucking say. Really? But he was saying like, uh, I think he was he was like, <laughs> said something like, "Did you hear that screams?" It's like, yeah, it's like the the Japanese people trapped in the ships in Hiroshima <laughs> or something. I was like, whoa, dude! <laughs> and I was like, that yeah, was well, so that, that's fucking the you would get. I don't, I don't consider it shock you, but in a way, you're trying to you feel like, holy fuck! You yeah, that was funny. Fun I, I legitimately like kind of set up, and I'm like, did I just hear that? Is, that's funny because it comes out of nowhere. Yeah, so why would you don't... jump to that? Yeah. Like, Joel does the same thing. Like, Joel from fucking Red, Red, Red I, Rooster I, Teeth. He also, like, will just say stuff. Like, he'll just be like, yeah, I was, um, I, ha I had this idea that, and you're just completely racist. He's just like, we're recording. He's like, you leave it in then. And it's just like, whoa, dude. I don't know. It's funny. If you can make somebody, if you can make somebody chuckle, it's like, okay, but if you can make somebody go, oh my God, and bury it's, their fucking face in life, it's, I think it's, that's a fun It's really cool. It's like, there's just some unbridled stuff where it's like, people laugh. Everyone understands. Okay, you know, yes, okay, people dying is bad. And big disasters are bad. But you also have to understand that we're laughing because it's like a joke. It's like we're at the expense of it being bad. We know that, like, the Columbine was a bad thing, but it's also a very very easy joke. Laughing doesn't mean you agree with it. it yeah. Means like, holy fuck. By, the, by that logic, like, Bugs Bunny getting hit on the head with a hammer is, like, really fucked up because a guy's gotten his head caved in with a hammer. Yeah. It's but like, Bugs yeah. Bunny is just like, yeah, you gotta hit here, you moron. Yeah. Like, he's laughing. At the, the guy got his head caved in and fucking live footage of Russian people coming up so to him. So you can't make black jokes. So you can't make hammer jokes, then. Yeah, you can't, you can't get hammered and make racist No, because you're, you're planetizing at that point. It's like people say, you can make black jokes, but you can't make rape jokes. Yeah. Or you, you, you can't, can't make... make racist rape jokes. I'm so sick of offended people. Every rape joke's a racist joke. All right, everyone throw off. Let's just be offensive. <laughs> I wish let's, people would just call okay. me an Irish. I just, applied, just, I just applied only black people rape women. Let's, so just let me do, just... let's just talk for 20 minutes and be completely fucking uncensored. And just say whatever comes to our mind. Completely if, unbridled that's racism. That's a bad idea. What if God no, steals all good our idea, kids? dude. Completely 100% uncensored. This is us. Real talk. Hey, Corey, what if... Hey, what's up, I was in the bathroom. I've never noticed this before. My wiener is huge. It can barely fit in my hand. Will yeah. go on? I noticed that the other day. All right, Boba Koosh says, what do you guys think about your younger audiences? Should they be watching slash listening to your stuff? All right, so here's the deal. When I was 14, I was watching the most heinous shit ever, yeah. and I turned out just fine. It's like, I, you know, <laughs> well. 
But wow. you, know, you know what? Here's the thing, though. Me Even too. when I was a kid, I still drew my own boundaries. Yeah. yeah, I watched like shit, but then there was places that I wouldn't go. Same thing. Like, because like, I still had like this, I still had yeah. a trigger that I did, not a trigger, I still had a filter. A threshold. That, yeah, your limit. A threshold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. threshold. For yeah. me, it was more like, I didn't I didn't want my parents seeing the Why history is it? Is he fucking my computer. 14 or a kid? That's another reason, but like, the other reason is, I also didn't like certain things. I wasn't a fan of people getting mutilated and gore. I hated blood when I was a kid. So okay. seeing that stuff, I avoided it at any chance I got. Once I, like, when I found out about Rotten.com, yeah. that fucking scarred me. And I just remember that one thing. And I never looked at that kind of stuff. I yeah. always avoided it. At, no, the same but, but kind of time, what, at the same time, what kind of shitty question is that? Because it's like, it's not like we're well, bad I think, people. I, I, doing, I think that's it's, a, it's, an age, it's an age-old question. Like, but it's also should, like, should, should certain content be made or should, how can you make sure younger audiences don't watch that? <sighs> I, but I, I never got that question because but, I've, always, I've always viewed kids I mean, kid, people, I think people really underestimate how smart kids are. I remember being like, that five, too. I remember being five years old, my, my, my parents would like mouth out the word fuck, you know, F U C K. It's like, kids aren't stupid. Kids are exactly as self aware and conscious as we are. The only difference between age five and like 15 is that you know a little bit more There's shit. 15 and 30, yeah. you get you slightly, and it's like being 30 to 80. It's like it's like thinking I, a 30 year old is yeah. stupid compared but to 80 year old. But I feel like the internet is like, it's different. It's right. fair game. When you but, go on the internet, it's the Wild West. Yeah, it's but, but like. I, so, but I mean, like, a 14 year old knows he wants to watch something raunchy yeah. or whatever. He's and not, it's he's like not, this. It's like, there's people who censor themselves, but then there's also stuff on the internet It's just straight fucking porn. Like, there's no censors. And it's like, people try to dictate it. It's like, oh, this is the internet. But it's fine. It's like, if you want your audience to be kids' audience, Look, it's based entirely on what you mean. Because, like, if, I, I... If you, if you give I, your kids internet access and don't, like, yeah. watch what they do, it's fair game. It's exactly. not up to the people. It's up to you to be a good fucking parent if you don't want your kids to watch some stuff. It's, well, it's also like... What, I was still clever, though, when I was a kid, even though they didn't Every kid is. I'm saying kids aren't stupid, dude. It off, it, what, they're little human. They're little baffles adults. Me, what often baffles me is like in a situation like this where people like get upset about that. This is another thing that always confused me. These mature games that come out, like Grand Theft Auto, it's like my kid was playing Grand Theft Auto and he was killing a hooker and he's like 13 years old. And it's like, they're where did he get the money to buy yeah, it? Yeah, it's like, why is your 13 year old kid, how is it, how can you bring this up to the court yeah. and be like, my 13 year old son was playing a rated R basically game yeah. and it's like, that's your own goddamn fault. What, a, a, uh, he'd get a job and then money yeah. and then went to the store to buy a gift. They wouldn't even yeah. sell it to kids. A parent <laughs> bought it for him. I remember my dad took me to an R-rated movie and got really mad when there was like swearing and he stormed it, out. And it I was, fucking... Because I, mean, I was like it, 10 or 11. That's what I don't understand. Like, it's like kids, kids are... dumbass. No. <laughs> that is rated R. The when guy even told him. start on the internet anyways? Like you know, 1996? No. Like, like, what how old were you guys? You? 15. You were, fif you were 15 when you wow, got here? Wow, really? 15. Okay, at you? Stafford? I was like 13 or 14. 13? Yeah, I must have been. I, I, I was really... Because they didn't understand I was, it. I was an outdoorsy like, kind of sports kid. I played outside a lot until I was like probably 13. Yeah. Well, we did too. I got it when I was yeah. 11. I just didn't understand what the internet really? was. Yeah. I didn't... Because yeah. I didn't have... That's, I think it's probably a little bit... My too. internet was fucking like black with white text. No, I didn't and we used it to yeah, get more. It was all chat rooms when I... I wasn't allowed to use it until I was 13, right? But like, I'm just wondering like... There's chat rooms and buds. I get scared when I go on YouTube and it's like, I am 7 years old. Like, like, yeah, somebody like somebody will like be on a video or uh, a yeah. music video that came out like two thousand nine, like, and they're like, I was four or three when this came out. And they're like, what? Like, the fuck? Oh, you, Charlie! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are saying right? It, Don't like, bite me! You guys are saying like, yeah, you should like 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 smart kids on the internet work because like they know what they're doing anyways, right? Yeah. But like, do you guys not think like uh, when the younger a kid is, the more likely they're going to make a complete ass of themselves on the internet and then stuff? Oh their yeah. I, I'm not Everything's saying look, 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 history look. now. Yeah. All of us got yeah. lucky because when we, were, when we were kids, we did stupid shit. It got erased. Yeah. Maybe we did some did or said some stupid shit, but it got erased because it was pretty early. Well, now, now we're doing it on the podcast. It's, and like, it's yeah. coming to history. I can't believe that. <laughs> now, My life isn't ruined from something I put on the internet. Yeah, like, now yeah. it's like now, dude. If you were born like 2010. Good lord, your life's gonna be my, awful. Well, you were joking about, internet. like, we would have presidents who, like, during their campaign, people would be pulling up, like, yeah. you know, the shit that they posted. Yeah, I, 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 they're, doing I, I like, said, they're doing, like, the Harlem Shake. And, like, yeah, exactly. Wow, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be like, you're gonna, you're, gonna pull, you're gonna pull up a president from, like, the 2036 election. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's gonna be him when he's, like, 10 years old. I voted for that asshole. Ranting about Sonic the Hedgehog while shitting a diaper. You're like, well, man, this guy's gonna lead the country. That's the guy's rebuttal. He's like, well, I understand what you're saying about taxes, but at least I. I wasn't doing <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, my guy's worried about like taxes and you know, fair game for everybody. He's like, but he also did a video of like sticky. He didn't even say that. He just goes, <laughs> his rebuttal was literally just like, yeah, that, that's oh, a good yeah, point you, know, you make about taxes, he but how about so. this? And he just presses play. And then everyone's gonna get him up on the, the fucking screen. audience. Is he's, there. Pra he's, pra <laughs> he's practicing his Naruto movements. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he <laughs> falls like, over and I rest a lamp. my case, and everyone's like, that's a good point. That yeah, is but a good then he pulls point. up him, and he's like, whatever, dude, I got dirt too. And the that's guy's true. Like, he's like, gets all scared, and then he pops it up, and it's like him, like, it's true. It's like him, like, singing to his first girlfriend, like, a fucking Backstreet Boy song. Yeah. He's like, I was just learning. I didn't understand what I was getting as into. As far as the question, though, like, how I feel about our audi- our younger audiences listening to us, oh, yeah. I'll say this, and I think it kind of plays into what everyone said, is that kids are going to find shit. They're going to find the dirtiest. They're going to find the nastiest. Humans find are the naturally drawn shit. to that, yeah, Because man. they're curious and, and yeah. they're growing up and whatever. But I will say that no matter how extreme we are at times, I think at the end of the day, you know, we, we make jokes about race and we make jokes about all sorts of shit. Yeah. But I, I think at the end of the day, everyone knows that we do believe that you should treat people with respect. Yeah. Yes. And that you, you know, we're not fucking trolls and we're not here to no. like push. This is common We're not sense, bullies yeah. pushing people over and, yeah. and shit like that and no. spitting no, in no, their food. No, there's decency right. to be a good person. But I think <laughs> that's what they would get though, is that they would get the fun, wacky, rebellious side. But at the same time, don't be a fucking idiot. Like, have fun and be crazy and be yourself, but don't be a fucking asshole. And I would, even, I, mean? I would even go so far and say, hopefully some of the stupid stories we tell, like, oh, man, when I was 15, I did this. Hopefully that can make people learn. And that, like, I don't think people would be encouraged. But that was the one I, thing I didn't have when I was younger. Like, yeah. if I did see that rebellious shit, I was always turned on by it, you know, because yeah. I wasn't allowed to do that. And, yeah. and seeing other people do it, it got me all psyched. But I never got to see the other side of it, which was, you know, yeah, we're being crazy and, and raunchy. But and also do your taxes right? and make your bed. So we tell, you, can, we you, tell, can, you can apply, don't be a dick to any situation. We should also it's tell true, people, but so many people don't learn that, right? especially when they're kids. They think we should, being a dick is the fucking We should also tell people, people yeah. this is also, I think we should also tell people that if you have videos of, like, let's say you lip syncing to Cotton Eye Joe, you should probably private that shit <laughs> in case you do run for a presidential. You dick. <laughs> I, I I'm trying to hold back my self-expression. Also, yeah. Cole, also. Wait, tell us about, about a video you did or something? I, have, I, I did the hamster dance, terrible dancing thing. It was fun at the time. If you were to log into Corey's account and you were to look at your private videos, I'm sure I'm there's t- just a fucking treasure trove of I, embarrassing I was shit. suspended like 16 times. I had not a fucking eye. Also, I think it's cool, like, if, you know, like 12 14 whatever kids are listening and we tell stories about how school was hard it's, yeah. you know it's relatable in no it is yeah that's what I also like and that's another thing I really like I, it may sound weird to say but it's like uh, Mick you and Stamper and Jeff are older than us and um but you're I mean you're not that much older than us but like uh, we all know like our high school years yeah so it's like kind of interesting in that way you know what's funny I don't think we'd ever run out of high school stories that that was no. literally the most like so much fucking yeah. shit happened good and bad mostly weird and awkward but I that that was literally like college was a big drunken drug induced blur for me and then everything <laughs> after that was work but high school was like this really bizarre time of of like betrayals and, and love I, I, and but I, I weird think shit too is I think I don't think there's a lot of people out there who can actually tell. I, I'm not trying to toot on hordes, but I, I think we talk how people talk. Yeah. Like when people talk about high school, they're like, high school is so great. It's like, dude, high school was high school it, was, it was a nightmare. Dude, dude. I, by, I by the way, by have the way, nightmares. Yes. About me too. high school. Every can, day. Can, can I can I say this? Yeah, oh yeah, you know, it's like me and Zach have talked about this. It's like you wake up in like a, a fucking fear, and you're suddenly in class, and the teacher's like, yeah. you've been gone for yeah. 1,385 yeah. days, yeah. and it's like, <laughs> look at all this homework you have, and I'm like, oh. Oh shit! I need to pass. Like, but, I, I like, need to pass eleventh like, grade, and then you're like, "Wait!" But I, no, nobody was there. Fuck I, you, teacher. <laughs> nobody was in high school. I, I I knew people who, when I was already at high school, I knew people who were going into it like terrified. Do you, and I, like, just, I wish wait, I wish wait, I had somebody wait, to tell me like high school that, doesn't like, fucking matter. Do you still get like high school tears just randomly? Yeah, when I you're, do. Like, yeah. I absolutely do. And the the first thought that goes through my head is. Oh shit! Yes, I'm not in school. I'm not going to school today. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you are yeah. so amped it's like that you are in six yeah. years. Yeah. No, but, but, and then but, I go out and go to get coffee, and then I see all these kids getting on a bus, and I'm like, I, ah. love, that. I <laughs> love the feeling. I love like you're driving like, you're walking. You're like, fuck you, old man, and you're like, fuck you, kids. I love, you got I love school. The, bitch. I love the feeling when you're driving or walking somewhere, you see kids on the bus, and you're like, oh, I'm not in school. I can go get candy right oh, now, and nobody God. can fucking stop me. I love candy, pulling up behind a bus. Yeah, you pull up behind a bus. Being happy that other people are feeling like miserable. No, that's true. No, that's true. What's that called? Shining pointing? Well, you know, we pull up behind a bus, yeah, and okay? then like you're looking in the back, and then the, all the kids, dick at them? all the kids are like in the back, Goodness. like making stupid faces. You, yeah. it's like you know what? I'm not asshole. Laugh it up. Laugh it up. Yeah, called, laugh it up, dick. It called, <laughs> enjoy your day at school, bitch. <laughs> 
Did it's you enjoy the soggy pads at lunch, you fucking idiot? Scheidenfreuden? Is that what it's called? Did you guys ever hear of soggy biscuits? You know, sometimes you yes. rip out phrases. No, it's a German like, term. No, no, he's right. Yeah, I, that I, is what I, I think. It's but a German you're term. You're absolutely right. It's so. a German term. Shad told me it's someone you, where you. you it's get, taking place from someone else's pain. Yeah, from <laughs> someone else's misfortune. Scheidenfreuden, I think it's called. Oh, no, no, but, but can, can, I, can I. I think we should just loop back to the beginning. For some reason, no, I think I think if you're if you're a good parent, you'll you'll keep your kids from watching what you don't want them to watch. It's not up to us to do that. It's up to you, the parent, this to do that. This is wise, Zach. And, and on that, I'm going to go have diarrhea. I'll oh, be right oh, back. Can I piss first, please? Okay, go pee first. Oh, God. Oh, God. Would you like? <laughs>